See along with you as we continue our coverage of the PPA Tour. And coming up, the next match is going to be the men's doubles. And it'll be Tyson McGuffin and Jay Devillier taking out the brothers Ben and Colin Johns. It's the first time Tyson and Jay have made it to Championship Sunday and uh, trying to make the most of it and pull the upset against the number one players or the number one seeded men's doubles team. And you see Jay and Tyson out there warming up. Ben and Colin have yet to make their way to the court. Yeah, they have a lot of uh, work cut out for them this afternoon in Ohio, but it's good to see them on Championship Sunday. Uh, Tyson McGuffin last year partnering with Riley Newman and Jay Devillier. Last year partnering with Patrick Smith. Shout out to Patrick Smith, it's his birthday today. But uh, you know, they seem to be finding their form here. They seem to be working together better as a team. But uh, they are running up against a freight train in the Johns brothers. Um, but it should be a great, great match. Speaking of Riley Newman, he's not in the tournament here uh, this weekend and would normally be playing with Matt Wright this year. But uh, yeah, last night he threw out the first pitch at the Seattle Mariners game as the Mariners honored the sport of pickleball. Back here on Tennis Channel is, you see Colin Johns has made his way onto center court. Have yet to see Ben Johns come out onto center court as we are anticipating this match getting underway very shortly. I'm, I'm hoping that Ben and Colin were warming up somewhere else and that Ben is gonna just walk onto the court ready to play. We just need Ben Johns. Come on, Ben. It's not going to be much of a match with uh, Tyson and Jay against Cullen. <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe Tyson and Jay against Ben, but uh, maybe Ben hopped across the street, quick skyline chili before the action. Not quite back yet. Well, Ben has two matches today. He'll play in the mixed doubles. There's Ben. So Ben has made his way out now, and he and Cullen getting in a couple of warm-up shots. And I mentioned that the, this has never been a championship match between uh, Jay Devillier and Tyson McGuffin against Ben Johns and Colin Johns. Of course, all four players know each other quite well. What needs to happen for Jay and Tyson to pull off the upset in this match? That is a, that's the million dollar question. Uh, they have their work cut out for them. I mean, we saw yesterday with Ben and Colin, they were able to adjust against losing a first game to uh, Thomas Wilson, AJ Kohler. They're gonna try to slow it down, uh, Tyson and, uh, and Jay. They're gonna have to be patient. I think the Johns brothers both have better hands, and they're gonna try to speed, the, speed these up, especially at Tyson. It's gonna have to play a patient brand of pickleball, keep it away from Ben, but also keep him honest. And uh, Jay is gonna try to show his flair, do plenty of Ernie's, but uh, we'll just have to see how it starts. 
going into the action. Well, the one thing we hope is that it remains dry. The, the, the radar right now uh, in the Cincinnati area looks pretty favorable that there should be uh, a 60 to 90 minute window before there looks like there could be any new precipitation that uh, comes into the area. So and you hope that that is uh, you hope that that's a pessimistic viewpoint <laughs> and that it's actually going to be a much longer uh, dry window for them to be able to get some matches in. So four matches still to go here at the Lentoner Family Tennis Center. You can see some of the quick hands on display right there. It's so fun to watch uh, the Johns brothers warm up. You can see the reactions on display. Ben always right on top of that kitchen line, really reaching in, taking time and space away from his opponents. Can't wait to get this one started here soon. The referees for this match, Anisha Smith is the lead official. Lou Adamson is the secondary official. Your tracking ref is AP LeBaron, and in the truck, the video ref is John Purvis. And yes, there is a video ref because it is Championship Sunday, Matt Manassi. <laughs> Matt, Matt Manassi, and, and that means that you can challenge. You can challenge. Are they going to? And they're going to show it on the scoreboard on that uh, on center court. That is a great question. I hope so. So, you know, the thing with the challenge is it, it, a lot of times the, the players tend to kind of the players tend to kind of forget that there's um, that, that it's at their disposal because right. it's such a departure. No, they'll and they'll definitely need it. These balls are going to be coming crazy fast uh, for those at home that normally watch tennis. The pickleball doesn't actually uh, compress like a tennis ball. So, so the way it bounces on the line is quite different. It is harder to see at times, so the replay does help a ton, especially at the, the pace that these guys are playing at. I love this double net cam, man. We've had it all week. <laughs> it's been such a such a great look. And you, you can see even in the warm-up, I was saying earlier, how close these guys are to that kitchen line. They want to reach in. They're taking time and space away from the opponents. If you leave a dink, anywhere a little high that thing is going to be put away especially with athletes like these that can cover so much of that court colin johns is the only one out there right now who is making his only appearance of the day on championship court so you know uh colin he, he's probably got the most motivation out of any of these guys to make the most of this opportunity. That's true. He doesn't want to <laughs> be a, uh, a one-time loser and not have a chance to uh, to avenge it. So you know, he'll be fresh. He's ready to go. He's going to be playing the right side all day, playing his role. Ben on the left taking over, um, and he'll be ready to rock. All right, well, it looks like the warm-ups are officially finished, and we're going to get the coin toss here to decide who gets the opening serve. And MPPA. I'm gonna have Colin call it in the air. Go ahead and flip. PPA. PPA is the call. It's Baird, De Villiers, and McGuffin win. Choose. They choose to receive. We're gonna start there. All right, and they have started on this end. Good luck, gentlemen. So, you know, the strategy here, it's, it's not exactly the same as uh, an uh, opening coin toss for a football game, but uh, it, it, most teams, do they prefer to receive or do they prefer to take? Because you, you only get the one serve, and if you can right. get the side out right away, then you then you get two. And you get two. Yeah, it's all personal preference. I think it just depends on what you're comfortable with, what you're feeling that day. I, I, I've, <laughs> I've made different decisions every time, depending on my partner, depending on the wind and all of that stuff, but uh, really just personal preference. And in pickleball, like you said, for the team that gets to serve first only gets that one chance, that one server, uh, as opposed to two. So it, it does even things out. There are times, sure. though, there are certain tournaments where it is more significant. I, the one that comes to mind for me is the, the Las Vegas Open, mm -hmm. where the shadows kind of move around the court throughout the day and you in, in the shadows start off on one end and then the sun kind of rotates around and wraps around the building then the other half ends in in shadows and when you got a situation like that or you got wind you might want to think to yourself okay where am i in the fifth and final game after the side switch like right. where you know right. where, where do i put myself in position to be most favorable if it gets to that point for sure i don't know if i don't know if the johns brothers even think it's going to go five <laughs> they probably haven't thought that far ahead they're like, we're going to close this out in three. I know that's what Ben's thinking. But uh, yeah, star power is here. Some of the best players in the world. 
Game this one. thing is finally Time ready to go. Eight. Hopefully zero, the rain stays away. All right, so here we go. Colin gets us going. It's zero, zero, 2 Side out. And there you go. You get the side <laughs> out. They won the toss. Now they're going to get back-to-back -back serve, see if they can build zero, an zero, early one. lead. Tyson McGuffin with the first serve for his side. And Point. John's into the tape. So one nothing to Villiers and McGuffin. One zero one. Second serve. And it'll move to the second serve after the errant shot by McGuffin. One zero two. Point. Advantage moves to 2 nothing. Jay de Villiers, the flying two, zero, two. Frenchman. And he was a, a youngster who had hopes of making it on the professional Point. tennis circuit before a, a severe injury derailed that. And he decided to go play Three, college zero, tennis two. and then came to the United States and discovered pickleball. Point. Yeah, Jay played collegially at Wichita State, still lives there. Pretty big pickleball community actually in Four, Wichita zero, with Matt Wright, Patrick Smith. A lot of good training there. Go, go, go. Yeah, yeah. Point. Good communication there to tell Tyson to lay off that. That's a tough one to lay off when you feel like you got a chance to slam it home. Five zero two. Side out. That time it's Colin Johns wisely deciding to lay off. Looks like Zero, De Villiers five, McGuffin really looking to speed things up early. A lot of drives, drive and crash. Second serve. Well, they certainly took advantage of uh, getting that sat out and building that 5 nothing lead. And now Zero, Johns five, and two. Johns down to the second server already. Forced error there by Tyson McGuffin gets the first point of the game for the Johns. One five two. Both Johns back on the baseline and Davillier and McGuffin. Oh, Ooh. Davillier was trying to take advantage of them being <laughs> back, but he misfires. He'd love to have that one back. Yeah, tried <laughs> tried for the disguise dropper. Didn't quite get it. I think Colin was on it anyway. Now the Johns brothers do get up to the kitchen. No. And McGuffin wisely gets out of the way. Yeah, the John's doing a better job there the last couple points of slowing it down Five, and getting two, up one. to the kitchen line. Colin does seem a little off so far. Second serve. And right on cue with a great return, great deep return off the baseline. Five, two, two. De Villiers and McGuffin got here by a consecutive games victory over Matt Side Wright out. and Spencer Smith yesterday. Matt Wright playing without Riley Newman, as we mentioned it. It is weird to see a championship Sunday without Matt Wright in oh, any of the events. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> I need to see Matt Wright up there. He uh, brings great Second energy. Third. He's always going to give some fist pumps, some finger wags. But Matt, we know you'll two be back two. at championship Sunday many, many times. Ben and Colin Johns, they were tested in the semifinals yesterday. They needed three games to get past A.J. Kohler and Thomas Wilson. They dropped the first game, but then won the won the next two. No. Yeah, yeah. And Jay de Villiers able to lay off and the serve back over to, to Villiers and McGuffin. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. speed up there from Colin with great hands. Of course. To Villiers and McGuffin. Wow. Great defensive shots there by De Villiers and McGuffin, but Penn Johns finally says enough of that. Yeah, great defensive work. If you see 
John's brothers pulled them through the middle, then able to spread it wide. Tie it up. And now the serve going back over to Team John's. Timeout, servers. Two, five, one. And a timeout being taken by the John's brothers before they start this serve. We'll step aside as well. It's 5 2 in game one. Ready to resume action here in game Time one. In. Best three out of two, five, five on Championship Sunday. It, one of the special wrinkles here on the PPA Tour. All the, all the preceding matches are best two out of three, but they go three out of five on Championship Sunday. Second serve. Yeah, Collins definitely trying to speed it up at Tyson, but Tyson's doing a great job of two, five, moving two. towards that middle, shifting over so he can find that backhand counter. It was a little bit unusual. I was surprised to see Colin take that time out there as the serve was coming back to their side. No! Point! And McGuffin hits that one long to get it back to 3-5. Yeah, they weren't getting a lot of momentum on their own serve, three, so maybe five, not two. a terrible timeout to try to strategize, come up with a way to start gaining some momentum here. Well, they did, as I mentioned, drop game one in the semis yesterday. And, you know, maybe saying, hey, you know what? We got a chance to take some momentum back here in game one. They don't want to start this match off the same way they did yesterday. And coming back from the break, just like yesterday, Ben Johns taking over. As he is apt to do. Ben literally taking everything right now. The lob, and then Ben! Did it catch the line? No, it just missed. Just missed. Was tough to tell from our angle, but... You have four. It was indeed called out. Let's take a look. This should be a better look at it. Yeah, well, just, just wide. Yeah, it didn't miss by much. It was a, it was a good one. thought, though, by Ben. <laughs> Great thought. Sevillier able to get into the action. And hits the winner. The crowd liking that effort. Yeah, that's just an unbelievable hand there from Jay. Really taking over the middle, giving no space to the Johns brothers. Second serve. And Ben just lined up a uh, that, 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 was, that was coming in hot. <laughs> that was personal. <laughs> that was not, not even a sorry after that one. Yeah, that, that was really coming in hot. Side out. And the side out gets the serve back to Team Johns. 4 6 1. No, no, no. Second serve. Man, that's tough to lay off, but it's the right decision. It's really so hard to find the kitchen Four, six, when Jay two. de Villiers is up there. He reaches in so far, like you saw in that last one, can really speed it up at any time, right there again. He speeds it up there, and the firefight is, is eventually ended by de Villiers hitting it into the net. Five, six, two. Great deception there. Tyson has that forehand on the outside, that forehand dink. Sits one second, waits yeah. for Ben to hold that backhand, and then we'll go towards the middle. For those at home, the benefit to just wait that extra second can be huge. Point. Colin unable to get that return over the net, so De Villiers and McGuffin push the lead back to two. It's 7-5. Seven, 7-5-1. Five. Seven, five, <laughs> How about that reaction out of Tyson? Maybe maybe Matt Wright is here on Championship Sunday. 8-5-1. <laughs> awesome reaction there from Tyson. Second serve. 
serve. Well, you mentioned Matt Wright not playing today. No Lucy Kovalova hey, in the final two. today either. You wonder if Matt Wright and Lucy are actually still in Cincinnati. <laughs> so that, that, that is, uh, we'd have to check through the brackets. I'm going to say there's not a lot of times that that has happened on the PPA Tour that either Matt and or Lucy were not playing. That's a rarity. And they're, of yeah. course, together as a couple as well in Wichita. Five, eight, one. Some of the great names in the game right there. So the Johns get to serve back. And that lob is going to be long. So back to a two point margin. Six, eight, one. Second serve. Oof. Don't see that very often from Ben. Yeah, he had to protect the middle there. Wasn't quite balanced. Six, eight, two. Okay, the nice little dink cross. Got him. Point. And Davillier long. Yes. Seven eight two. No. Collins speeds Time it up out. and then gets handcuffed off the return by Davillier. Yeah, both both Tyson and Jay do such a good job of protecting that body with that back and that square paddle face that finds the ball really hard to speed it up on them from below the level of the net. So 8-7 to Villiers and McGuffin trying to see if they can inch closer to taking this first game. Who's gonna speed it up first? Well, Second nobody's going to speed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Just an unforced yes. little cat and mouse there. Probably not used to <laughs> dinking so many times Eight, down seven, the two. line. Most dinks, probably 80% normally cross court. Side out. And now a side out gets it back to Ben and Colin looking to draw even here in game one. They're going to be kicking themselves on that side seven, out if eight, it doesn't one. go well this game. We are not at an eight. Time Penn and Collin have eight, not eight, had the four. lead in this game, so a chance for them to go in front for the first time, but it's going to have to wait because a timeout is being taken. We'll get you back to Cincinnati in a moment. Back in Mason, Ohio, Dave Benz, Matt Manassi, and our Tennis Channel crew along with you as the Baird Wealth Time Management eight. Open has reached eight, Championship eight, Sunday. This is the second of five championship matches on the docket today, and we've been delayed multiple times by weather, but thankfully right now, very dry for this match as Ben and Colin Johns look to take the lead for the first time in this game. No. Point. And that is gonna indeed give them a 9A lead, two points away from taking game one in this best three out of five. Yeah. 9-8-1. Guffin flicks the wrist to end that exchange. <laughs> Better point there, stayed patient. I think a couple of points. Jay de Villiers has gone a little overzealous trying to go for too much. I like the patience from both Tyson and Jay there. Both Ben and Colin back on the baseline. And now they're able to get up to the kitchen. And they finally get the point, so they we're one point away here from taking this game one. I loved how Ben and Colin, with the defense there, didn't just go for lobs yes. over and over again. They went and ripped a few as well, gave a different look. 10, 8, 2. Awesome point. Go. Oh, how about Ben going down again? That couldn't get through it a second time, though. So the 
team of Davillier and McGuffin, they stave off one game point. Serving at 8 10. Second serve. Move to the second serve, 8 10 2. Really smart speed up there. Didn't go for too much pace. 8 10 2. It's more about the height control there. So they fail to take advantage of staving off that game point, give the serve back without making a dent in the margin. And now game point number two. Oh, what a shot by Ben. Point that game. was, he, he makes it look so easy. The too easy. degree of difficulty <laughs> on that was ridiculous. I mean, he's on a full stretch. Has to have that paddle face open. Unbelievable. 11-8, Team Johns in game one. Shot still some water on the ground Game around two. championship Coming. court, zero, zero, but kudos to the crew who got this court ready to go pretty much as soon as the rain stopped. And we are moving on on championship Sunday. Side out. And the Johns begin game two with the serve, or the, now they begin game two with the serve after forcing zero, zero, the side one. out. Second serve. So we'll move to zero, zero, 002 here in game two. Zero, zero, 002. Side out. Don't see that too often. No, that's the second time that Ben has put one into the zero, net zero, that he, he, you would have expected him easily to get over. He makes the difficult shot and then the, the, the ones that are more mundane, he's, he, he's had a serve. little bit of trouble with today, but he bounces back in nice form right there. Yeah. They're, they're a nice drive, but zero, zero, two. not low enough. Jay committed middle and easily beat him line. Little third shot dropped there from Tyson to get he and Jay up to the kitchen line. Side out. And then Colin turns it on and Tyson knocks it out. So back to the Johns yeah. for the serve. Zero, zero, one. As we remain scoreless. Point. Scoreless no longer. Colin Johns, the older of one the two brothers. One. You mentioned yesterday, Colin did have, did have a nice run on the professional tennis circuit. Point. Did, yeah, very accomplished tennis player. But uh, once <laughs> once Ben got into pickleball, two, zero, he one. saw that, that rise. He joined quickly and it's been pretty, pretty smooth sailing for him too. See the reaction out of Davillier. Two zero two. See, pivotal game clearly as uh, Davillier and McGuffin can't afford to fall down 2-0. Point. Ben Johns able to paint that back, back baseline. He made that look way too easy. Really covering that angle with the back end and immediately coming over to the middle. Great forehand put away there. I'm fully convinced Ben could stand on a pickleball court. You could put a blindfold on him, and he, he and, and he could hit the baseline on a, a shot at will without even having to look at it. We could give it a try after this. I think we'll, we'll be, send it down to Hannah. Mix, get the blindfold. Zero, three, one. Get it done. It'd be good to see. <laughs> I mean, the muscle memory from the hours upon hours of work that. Both he and his brother and all these players really put it on the, on the court. So much top spin on those forehand and backhand rolls from both John's Zero, brothers. Three, two. Really keeping McGuffin and Devillier back. The lob returned by Side Ben out. Johns and McGuffin knocks it long. Great coverage there. Yeah, a lot of times it's easier for the the uh, partner to go get the lob as opposed to the person who was lobbed over. Very smart there from the Johns. And a long return there will make it four nothing. I mean, the, the, the lob four can be zero, such one. a weapon, but you've got to hit it just perfectly.
point. Yeah, about the lob as you, as you get up in levels, as you go from 4.5 to 5.0 out, and above, the lob becomes harder and harder. The players are more athletic, and you have less and less space to go into. The lob at a 3.0 level, great choice. Tavillian McGuffin deciding to use a timeout here is this time it's it's their team that's on the wrong end of a five nothing start to a game. They had a five nothing lead to open up game one before the Johns came roaring back. So what are, what are you talking about if you're over there in the timeout between the two of them. Yeah they're stuck between a rock and a hard place a little bit like A.J. Kohler and Thomas Wilson yesterday. The only difference is they did not get that first game. They came out firing early game one and kind of caught the Johns off guard with some power with some drives and crashes. Now they've settled in. They're trying to be patient but now you're allowing the Johns to attack at will and since both have great hands it's just a really tough spot to be in. They're going to need to stay down a little bit. Both are popping up a little bit on some of these speed ups. Stay down. Let the hands seconds, do the work. Two timeouts, just stay mentally timeout. involved. You never know what's going to happen. This is a game of momentum and they can make a run here. So good timeout from them. They definitely needed it. Thing to bear in mind, we talked about it with the replay situation. You have to have a timeout to be able yes. to challenge. So uh, I think keep that in Time mind in. as Davili and Five McGuffin zero, only one. have one timeout remaining here in this game. <laughs> and Ben Johns just saying, yeah, timeout, what timeout? Let's just push the lead <laughs> to six nothing. He said time in. Six zero one. Devillier with the overhead. Get it to 6-0-2. 6 2 Oh, Colin with the <laughs> deception there kind of froze Tyson McGuffin. Yeah, any any dink, it's called a, a passive dink that sits up and down. You're gonna have time to make that decision. Wait till the opponent moves. Great job there from Colin again. Side out. <laughs> Side out after De Villiers speeds it up. You know, C Colin is such an accomplished player. I mean, we talked about his tennis a little bit. Um, you know, but it's when when you're when Zero, you're seven, one. alongside the giant spotlight that is Ben Johns. I don't, I don't think Colin gets enough credit for how important he is to Ben's success. Yeah, not at all. I mean, he's. Ooh, great Second speed serve. up there from Ben. Um, yeah, he normally plays the right side as a role player for Ben, but when Ben hasn't been able to play, he can play with anybody on the left side. He's one of the best players in the game, top five talent. Zero, seven, so uh, together, they're almost unbeatable, but alone, both very, very good, of course. Side out. Side out at zero seven. That certainly is going to hurt. As the Seven, Johns two, now one. four points away from taking game two. Second oh. serve. Another miss hit by Ben. That third shot drop, trying to Seven, get it to land two. in the kitchen. Give you time to get forward. That one finding the net. Point. Colin with the overhead that time to get it to eight nothing. A little bit better execution on that third shot eight, drop, two, although two. De Villiers was able to reach in and hit it out of the air anyway. Fight won by team Davillier and McGuffin. They'll get the serve back. Ben with the wry smile. He thought he was ahead in that point the entire Zero, time, eight, which he was. But the net court had something else to say about it. Ben made that Second one look serve. easy. Yeah, so ben, and Ben's coming over from that left side to come in front of Colin, as you can see right there. A lot of people are wondering, why are you not letting Colin hit it? It's because from that angle, coming over from the left side with that forehand, you can have way more options to keep your side opponent out. guessing, which is what he did. Well, Tavillier McGuffin, nothing going with the serve. 
Eight zero one. Point. <laughs> See the McGuffin losing the paddle as uh, this thing has become a runaway train here in game two. Yeah, that's just frustration. Ben, really good slide over there. You have to keep him honest, have to go behind him at some point. Second serve. Ben was unable to get off the baseline that time. So move to 9-0-2. 9-0-2. Side out. Third shot drive doesn't clear the net, so again, Davillier and McGuffin getting a chance to try to get the bagel off the scoreboard. Point. And they finally do as Colin misfires on the backhand. I like that speed up there from Tyson. He hasn't really moved around the backhand much today to do something with it. Second serve. Two. Football. They're going to get Colin on the footfall. Point. Alicia Smith has been on that all week. Way to step in, ref. I know McGuffin and uh, <laughs> they're happy about it. They don't care how they get a point right now. Still a big hill to climb at 2 9. Side out. And the side out will give it back to Team Johns, two points away from closing out this game. And that's the only risk with speeding it up from there. I actually got a text Nine, two, yesterday. One. Why aren't guys speeding it up off the bounce from the kitchen line? There's not a lot of space. This ball doesn't get a ton of spin. There's no strings on the paddle. Point. And that's Time long, out. so Receivers. game point, Ten, but two, a one. timeout being taken by Davillier and McGuffin at 10-2. We'll step aside back to Cincinnati in a moment. Back on Tennis Channel, the Baird Wealth Management Open has reached Championship Sunday. Dave Benz, Matt, Pickleball McNasty, Manassi <laughs> with us 10, here. 2, we are here and seeing some great action, Dave. Game point number one. Point and that, game, 11 That's all she wrote in game John. two. Switch in. Team Johns cruises in game two, 11-2. So they are one game away from winning a title in Cincinnati. And welcome back to the Baird Wealth Management Open. Our coverage continues here on Tennis Channel. Davillier and McGuffin in a zero, big zero, hole two. down two games to none. And Team Johns with the serve to start game three. Davillier Side takes out. care of that one. This pairing of Davillier and McGuffin has never seen Championship zero, Sunday zero, together prior to this mm -hmm. appearance. Second serve. It's a great ball. Again, saying over and over again, he holds that to the last second, gets that paddle face under the ball. Really makes your opponent guess zero, zero, which side and then bunk right at the body. Very, very tough shot to get out of the way of. Side out. And the side out, so Davillier and McGuffin squander an opportunity to take zero, an zero, early one. lead in this possibly decisive game three. John's brothers to get up to the kitchen line. Good thing, too, because that <laughs> was not past the net by, by very much. Point. Ben John speeds it up at Davillier for the first point of the game. Yeah, they did a great job there a couple times. One zero one. Of resetting, but just too much heat from John's in the end. Point. And make it two nothing and. While Team Johns looked like they were maybe zero, zero, vulnerable one. yesterday in the semis, they're not looking very vulnerable here today. <laughs> not at all. Point. And Again, it's a 3 nothing lead. So they're trying to keep it away from Ben. But the 
instincts to Colin are just sitting up a little bit too much, giving him a lot of time on that forehand side to figure out where he wants to go. And yeah, after that five love deficit Second in the set. first game, only five points total the rest of the match, not so great for De Villiers and McGuffin. It's been one way traffic. I'll go here. 3 0 2. 3 0 2 is the Johns brothers aren't done yet on this service opportunity. Side out. Ben with a little bit of a wry smile after <laughs> uh, he puts that one into the net. 0 3 1. He's like, what? I'm not supposed to miss that ball ever. Once in a while, it's okay, Ben. Second serve. He is human. But Doesn't often look like it on the pickleball court, but he is human. On the pickleball court, barely looks like. Oh. Colin goes for the Point. Ernie, but he hits it long. <laughs> he switched the paddle hand, went for the left-handed Ernie. That would have been One, impressive. Three, two. That side does out. hit the line, so the side out. A lot of dinking through the middle there. A lot of recreational players try to spread the court so yes. much, but that spot in the middle, so important to make sure you go there. It Three, can one, cause one. confusion, and then you could spread the court following. Point. Johns with the backhand, put it low. De Villiers couldn't handle it, it's 4-1. 4-1-1. Second serve. Didn't quite get his feet set there. Four one two. But up four one. Don't mind it. Side out. That third shot drive doesn't clear the net, so Devillier and McGuffin still hanging in here, but they gotta they gotta start getting something going. Good communication. De Villiers able to get McGuffin to dodge out of the way. Two, four, one. And then McGuffin point. gets it back to within a point. Got Colin leaving that a little bit high. Great reach in there. Notice how close he is to that kitchen line, not allowing the ball. Three, four, one. Second serve. Aaron shot there by McGuffin, who prior to pickleball Three, four, was an accomplished tennis player himself, also an accomplished wrestler in high school. His dad was a wrestling coach. Point. And we've drawn even now at four piece here in this four, third four, game. Two. Oh. Yeah. Point. Yeah. All right, to Villiers with a little, little to say as the Johns brothers for the first time in this Five, game four, are two. facing a deficit. Yes, I'll recall. Yep. Five, four, two. Side out. Jay tries to go behind the back. Not sure if Tyson would have had that if Jay hadn't attempted that shot. Really high degree of difficulty shot there from Ben Johns. Holding that paddle face. Four, Looks five, like he can go anywhere. Able to flick it on the backhand side. That is a bounce. shot in Jay's arsenal, though. He he practices that quite <laughs> often if you watch him warm up. Point. Behind the back. Yeah, Jay's got the, the flair. It's the, the Frenchman in him. Five, five, one.
John's brother's looking to go back in front after that brief lead by Tavillier and McGuffin. Uh, ben was trying to go for the angle, but couldn't yeah. clear the net. Went for a little bit too much, but I love Tyson there, really reaching in, not letting those dinks bounce, putting pressure on Ben, showing that athleticism. Awesome stuff from Tyson McGuffin. Yeah. 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 And now to Villiers and McGuffin. Yeah, Tyson definitely finding his form here. Yeah. Get the serve back tied at five. Yeah. Point. And promptly go back in front. Six, five, one. Oh. Second serve. Ben says enough of this. <laughs> no mas. Quiet there when the firefight ensues. No, that's why. Point. So another point and a two point advantage. Seven, five, two. Oh, yeah! yeah! Point. And suddenly, Davili and McGuffin <laughs> have it going. A little drive and crash. Love that. Timeout receivers, eight, five, two. And the Johns brothers decide they're going to use a timeout, suddenly trailing in this game, eight, five. See if they can stop the momentum that Davillier and McGuffin have going right now. Yeah, really smart timeout. Needed it. Tyson and Jay are really finding their form. I love that they're going for the drive and crash, giving a different look. Ben and Colin need to slow it down get back to basics. Well, we're just happy that we have pickleball going on right now because we've been in rain delays today. Hannah Johns, this crew has done a great job getting the court ready in short order. Well, that's right, Dave. G guys, it has been an absolute adventure out here. Crazy times. There's been drizzle. There's been rain out here on the court. And it's crazy. Luckily, we have a great operations crew that have been able to help us. They've gone out there with towels, with tarps, with our vafter, able to get this court cleaned up, ready to go. Having the players able to get out there, finish their finals is the priority here today. No question. And they're in match number two out of five of the day. Will this one go? more than three games, that is the question. Right now, Tyson McGuffin and Jay Devillier, they've got their eyes on getting this at least to a fourth with this 8-5 lead here in game three. Oh yeah, they're playing some big time pickleball. Should be interesting to see the adjustments here from Ben and Colin post timeout. Eight, five, two. See if the timeout serves its purpose. That does just get over the net. Make it 9-5. Yeah! Not so fast. All kinds of momentum right now for Davillier and McGuffin. Side out. But now the serve will go back to Team Johns. Yeah, ben and Colin would really love to just end this in three. Uh, I would say so. <laughs> Puts it right between the two Jaws brothers. Really just taking these passive dinks like that and attacking. Yeah! It's actually what Matt Wright and, Ry and uh, Riley Newman have done very well this year against the Jaws brothers.
Tyson and Ben content to go back and forth for a little bit. Of Colin and Jay. Tyson saw an opening down the middle, but he couldn't exploit it. Better strategy there from Colin actually going cross court with that forehand dink. I think he's been leaving a little bit too much down the line. Colin finally able to get up to the kitchen. That lob. Colin able to return it. Answers with a lob of zone. And Devillier gets a couple of overhead chances. <laughs> that was massive. Frenchman getting plenty of heat on that overhead. 9-6-1. Second serve. Well, ben and Colin trying to avoid being in a on the wrong end of a game point situation here. They force it to the second Nine, six, serve. Two. Deception by Ben Johns. Yeah. Really smart play. Got Tyson and Jay both leaning to the side, and then a nice little flick through the middle. The middle is your friend. Ben finally able to get up to the kitchen. Point. And a misfire there will close the score to 7-9. Seven nine two. Go, 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 go. Me. Colin able to track down the lob. Back. And then Colin finally able to put it away. And he looked down at his foot. He wasn't hundred percent sure and he he was relieved when he saw there was a little bit of space between his toe and the line. He goes, the ref's not calling me on that one. So it's tight in game three in Cincinnati. Eight, nine, time off being taken by Davillier and McGuffin. And McGuffin holding on to just a one point lead using the timeout to see if they can avoid the Johns brothers tying this thing up. Tyson speeds it up. Nice defense by Colin Johns, but finally McGuffin wins it. Unbelievable reflexes from all four. 9-8-1. So Davillier and McGuffin two points away from closing out this game. Point. And that'll bring up game point number one. 10-8-1. We'll move Second to 10 8 2 and game point number two. <laughs> the point before they caught Colin on a third shot drive, not ready. He was definitely 10, ready 8, for 2. that one. They go with the drop that time. John's brothers saying not so fast. They get the serve back at 8-10. Yeah, Davillier felt like he had to do something, had to create there on that forehand dink. Just a little bit too early, Ben sitting on it. Yeah, second serve. 
Uh, how about that reaction? They force it to the second serve. 8 10 2. Guffin and Davillier switching sides here. Villiers, the backhand goes into the net. It's a one-point game. Colin does Nine, such ten, a good two. job getting that ball up high on that little speed up down the line. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Villiers had Ben Johns playing defense and exploited it. Ben's just protecting the face there. Game point number three. Yeah! And there it is. <laughs> so it will not be an easy three game win for Johns and Johns. We're going to a game four in Cincinnati. Back with coverage of the Baird Wealth Management Open. From Cincinnati, Ohio, we've gone to Three, game four, four of this three. men's doubles Three's final. Tavillier and McGuffin able to force this fourth game. Side out. But Team Johns will get the side out to start game four and get the serve. Zero, zero, one. Colin, good idea, unable to execute the lob, though. Zero, zero, two. Yeah. Side out. And a side out gets it back to Davillier and McGuffin. Yeah, Davillier zero, and zero, McGuffin, one. really, their hands have been ready the last game. They know Colin oh, John's going to speed it up. A little bit of zero, momentum zero, right now for the third seeded team. No. Oh, man. Second How about turn. Ben? <laughs> Jay, Jay, any other player, that's a winner. And Ben's able to come back and, and defend it and get it back across the net. Unbelievable reflexes. Hands out in front. Yeah, Jay's winning that point zero, zero, nine two. out of 10 times. Maybe 10 out of 10 against another player. Side out. And so side out keeps it scoreless. Zero, zero, one. Saw he had some open <laughs> yeah. court, but he couldn't take advantage of it. Zero, zero, Closed two. off pretty quickly by that Ernie. <laughs> ben not <laughs> enough on that one. Day scoreless here in game four. Zero, zero, two. Another side out. Zero, zero, one. Colin what? finally able to get the first yep. point of the game. 
that roll dink left a little bit too high. One, zero, one. That's going to be put away every time. Second serve. Move to the second serve. One, zero, this two. Game four has been a little bit of a crawl. Out. Just missed it. Yeah, he did just miss it. All these players doing such a good job of resetting some balls, softening up that grip on the paddle, keeping it out in front, opening that paddle face just a little bit. Really just beautiful to see out there. Colin and Tyson, back and forth. Defense by both these sides, so impressive. Colin goes up for the backhand, and that sets the point in motion to be won by Team Johns. Does <laughs> catch the line. I think Ben thought he was going to be able to catch him and cheat through the middle. Yeah. Tried to. Jay did a great job holding that, rolling Zero, three, it one. to that left shoulder. Ben trying to end the point on a few occasions, but Davillier and McGuffin hanging tough. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That'll get a roar out of the crowd, and Davillier pumped. Absolutely insane hands. Look at this D and the gas. Yeah! Oh! And a little bit of luck. You catch the net, and it goes <laughs> in. That wasn't how you designed it, but you'll take it. We'll take it one, all. Three, one. Best hands I've seen out of Jay Davilia in a long time. I mean, Jay has played this way all week. He has been so good. He has found his form here in Cincinnati. I mean, you watch him on that net cam, and it's honestly, it's it's like a robot, just boom, 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 boom. And we will see Jay Davilia again this afternoon as he will play and the mixed doubles. Tyson McGuffin will play in the singles championship to cap off the day. Ben Jones will also be part of that mixed doubles match. Point, timeout, receivers. Quick hands, a great vision there by Ben. Yeah, moved over. Yeah, that's that ball was supposed to be. That'll force to Villiers and McGuffin to use a timeout. 5-1 here in game four. Back here in Cincinnati. Been a great venue all week long. Great host to the PPA Tour. 5-1-1. The Johns brothers six yeah. points away, but McGuffin finds the opening. After the... Wardrobe change for Tyson McGuffin during the timeout. So moves it to 5 1 2. Side out. And the side out gets it back to Davillier and McGuffin. All he needed was the shirt change. Well, 
Sure change isn't going to help with that. Nope. The shot selection <laughs> would help with that one. And the execution. That one sat up way too easily for Ben Johns. One, five, two. Side out. Colin goes to the open side of the court. And the side out gets it back to Team Johns with the 5 1 advantage. Yeah, the drive and crash is a great option, but the drive has to stay low. That one getting a little bit too high. Second serve. 5 1 2. Couple of shots Colin would like to have back on that exchange. Oh yeah, she couldn't get ahead in that one. So one five one. Oh, they're picking on Colin right now. Yep. spot for Colin to be in because he really is playing that right side, that roll side. Point. And an unfavorable run in with the net there. Yeah, more, more on Colin on that side. When you're playing the right side, you're very stagnant. The left side is able to Three, really five, move one. more. And playing pickleball in motion for many is easier. Colin, if you're getting stuck, can be a little difficult. And suddenly, it's just a one point game. Four, five, one. Watch. Watch. Oh, McGuffin and Davillier oh. finally do get up to the kitchen line, but. Too little, too late as Ben Johns finishes it off. 4-5-2 Four, Four, five, five, now. Oh. Collins saw uh, Jay going into the corner, so <laughs> takes advantage of that open side of the court. Five, the, only, the only problem with trying to Ernie come across, leave the court a little open. Nice dig out there by Colin, but Tavillier finally puts it away. So we'll go to 5-4-2. Really good job there from Tyson covering that speed up from Ben. Finding that backhand counter. Jay hits it with the offhand. <laughs> and the Johns get the lead back to two. That was a great speed up. Even without the lead, the lead court, I think, I think that one's going for a winner. Awesome deception. Great defense by Colin. Now Ben finally gets back up to the kitchen. No! <laughs> the crowd loving what they're seeing right now. <laughs> we're loving what we're seeing. What a point. This quartet no! just so impressive. Oh, yeah. 
ATP executed mm. perfectly there by Colin. He really got around that ball. Great footwork needed to execute an ATP like that. You'll see it here. Really lets the ball leak to the outside, let it get to the lowest part of the bounce. Gives you the best angle to attack. We saw yesterday Colin try to execute an ATP and it actually hit the post. <laughs> That's true. A little bit better angle that time. And the side out's gonna get back over to Team Johns. Timeout, servers, 6-4-1. And again, Colin and Ben for the second time in this match, they're gonna use a timeout before starting a service opportunity. We'll step aside as well. Back in Cincinnati, Dave Benz, Matt Manassi along Time with in. you. 6 4 one. So the timeout before starting the service opportunity is the Johns brothers, they wanna, they, they don't want anything to do with a game five. <laughs> Not at all. They took that timeout, they wanted to regroup, even ahead in the game. 6 4 two. Let's come back, let's close this thing out. <laughs> ben was not going to be that night right there. Gets it to 7 4. Ben's like, hey, Colin, get out of the way, brother. <laughs> I'm coming at you. Well, that's the other great thing about Colin, right? I mean, we talk about what a great player he is, but he's he knows hey, when Ben's ready to take over like that, just get out of the way. That's right. Side out. <laughs> Ben tried to paint that corner and he just misses. Ooh. So 4 8 1. Second Make start. it 4 8 2. And you feel like Davillier and McGuffin, this uh, might be their last stand if they don't make some noise here. And you heard Colin say you. I, I, don't, I don't think he needed to say it. I think Ben was taking it all the way. <laughs> you. That's like, yeah, I know. Well, to Villiers says, thank you very much. I'll take the overhead smash. 8-4-2. Ben thought he was going to have a winner there. No! Yeah, that's long. <laughs> he had it. Awesome hands from all four guys there. Ben speeding up, coming across here. Just took a little no! bit too big of a swing. So Davillier and Muff one. McGuffin again getting the serve back at 4-8-1. Great job catching that line. A lot of players sit in that backhand position when the ball's coming at them. Got to find that right shoulder. Oh, and a rare, rare mistake by Davillier. Can't get the serve over the net. So Johns and Johns get it back three points away from a title. Eight, four, one. Make it two points away. Nine four one. Go. Oh. Tyson goes for an Ernie point. and hits it long, and we have reached match point. Timeout. Receivers. And the Villiers and McGuffin have no choice but to use a timeout to try and see if they can avoid what, at this point, is looking like. It's inevitable. It's inevitable, yeah. They're taking a timeout. See if they can come back with one more charge, but I think it's gonna be over here soon from a, from our perspective, but um, we'll see what they can do. Yeah, Ben, ben seems to have found his, his rhythm and, and Colin as well. Well, 
This is match number two of five on the docket from Cincinnati today. Got the women's doubles coming up following the conclusion of this one. Leah Jansen and Catherine Parento will team against Bright and Irvin. And how about Hannah Johns right now? <laughs> little little sibling love right now as uh, Ben and Callan are a point away from another title. I guess pretty relaxed up uh, two games to one. I think Hannah, looks, for lead. Hannah looks really nervous about the post-match interview. I don't know if she's ever had a chance to talk to these guys yeah, before. Yeah. <laughs> she's shaking. <laughs> she, oh. We had a we had a tournament uh, last year on the PPA Tour map where Hannah actually was able to get us a picture of all of Ben's medals and they're all, they're all just hanging on the doorknob. Oh my God. <laughs> Doorknob's gonna fall off soon, I bet. It's getting to be heavy. He's probably found a second doorknob by now, <laughs> I would think. Second serve. Well, no victory just yet. We'll move to 10-4-2, match point number two. 10-4-2. Point. And there it is. Match, 11-4, John and John. Anticlimatic finish. Got a credit to Billy and McGuffin, though. They rallied at least to get it to a fourth game. But in the end, it's Team John's 11-8, 11-2, 9-11, and 11-4 to win yet another men's another double championship. PPA title for the Johns. I was really impressed with Davillier and McGuffin. For them to find championship Sunday, find some form, team chemistry together. I thought they played great. But again, the Johns. We'll step aside, Hannah, with that uh, nerve-wracking interview coming up on the other side of this timeout. <laughs> well, guys, welcome back to the Baird Wealth Management Open. Another look at that final moment there as Ben and Colin Johns class the title. Guys, congratulations. What a match that was. They fought their way back in game three. What was going through your head? What did you guys discuss on the sidelines? Um, between games three and four, it wasn't really too much. It was just more get focused again. They brought a lot of energy. They really fought back hard. Uh, we may have let up a little bit, so it was more just put the pedal to the metal again and uh, make them earn every point. Well, you came back from a bit of a deficit in game one. You guys are generally known as a bit of a slow starter team. Is that ever something you would work on, add that to the arsenal, or is it more of a personality trait? <laughs> uh, not the most desirable personality trait, and I don't think there's anything we can really uh, necessarily work on. To, you know, your personality just is the way it is, so you got, you got to deal with it. Uh, so, yeah, it's more about how you bounce back, I guess, and, and I guess we're used to doing it by now, and uh, you hope it doesn't happen, but somehow it does a lot. <laughs> Well, guys, it's apparent at the pro level how important the differences are between the left and right sides. What do you think would happen were you two to switch sides and try to play like that? I would have a seizure. <laughs> Start twitching. Yeah, that would never happen. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Well, your partnership works well the way it is. Don't change anything. Guys, we're going to bring Brian Kurtz on court now from Bayard Wealth Management to present your trophy. Brian. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. You know, Baird is... Uh, we're a privately held employee-owned wealth management firm. Uh, we treat clients and our associates like family. That's kind of the vibe that I get being here. This is incredible. It's really great. Um, so on behalf of the, we're incredibly excited about our partnership with the PPA as well. Um, so on behalf of the PPA and, and Baird uh, Wealth Management, congratulations. What a great match, guys. Well done. Give them another hand, guys. Dave, turn it over to you.